I still remember the promises you made me. I still remember the deep assurances. I have the zeal to serve. But things are not happening. Why? Why? The fact he is about to pollute the air. Lahi. What is the problem? The someone was so strong that yes. we have to abandon what we are doing. What, what is it? Our sacred Akali stream has turned to blood. You are confusing us. How is that possible? Listen, some of our maidens just left the palace now. They said they were there when the stream erupted and finally turned to blood. What? They even left their pots there hey. and ran to this place to tell me. Mbano. How can I can still turn to blood? How can? Oh. What shall we drink? I mean, what are we going to be drinking? Listen, go to the chief priest now. He must have a solution. It is done. Hey! <coughs> the worst one. This is wonderful. But what could have been the cause of this? Do not seek the source of the gathering cloud. You are not a rainmaker. Once the cloud is clear, that is all that matters. I, I, I don't think so. I see a metal blue. A metal blue. Here with us. Let all be well. Are you not frustrated? <laughs> Are you adorned with such strange attire standing before the king as we speak now our sacred Akali stream has turned to blood our enemies stand rising against us I will be forced to raise the sword of authority my king why would you raise the sword of authority over people of little honor when we can as well show them how powerful we are what are you talking about I am asking you why you are done with such strange attires. And why are these maidens following you? The answer is obvious, but it is not in my place to make it known. I knew it. I said it that you are... Again, my king, it is not in my place to say. Our sacred Akali stream is free of whatever evil spirits is inhabiting it. The people can fetch. 
Are you, are you trying to... But we were there with Igurube. We were there at the street with Igurube. Yes. And even he tried all he could. Still, the water was still blood. Blood! She has restored the stream. The people can now go ahead and fetch. Yes. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Izumba. Izumba. A performing masquerade who tries so hard to outclass his colleague may end up exposing his ends. Because it would amount to so much foolishness if a man steps on a cobra after warning others against it. Do not think I shall continue to sit and watch you and your agents break down. <laughs> Don't be fooled, you ancient priest of Akaliochi. The crocodile does not die underwater for us to call monkeys to celebrate its funeral. You want others to stay away from this danger that is looming. I will suggest you do say. Because that which you see is bigger than you can handle. Leave from here now, you descendant of the wizard. Don't forget that my mother is also a witch. <laughs> Do not forget that the sword of authority based against her still hangs in the palace. And the descendants of the witch hunters still living. Ancient priest of Akalioche, it is said that a death that would want to kill a man always begins as an appetite. Do not boil my blood any further. I of the gods, Igurube, Okoto Waraji, I heard you from inside. Your daughter Isaac. Truly wise one, I cannot place her whereabouts. I fear she is... Uh... It is not in your place to speak. Your daughter is... This is beyond your understanding. I shall be back. for those who know the value of the clouds. Who is he that looked and could not behold? Who is he that spoke and did not utter a word? Who? Justice shall always let the hawk stick to the chicks and vultures to carcass. When a deer grazes away from its flock towards a lion's den, what it seeks, it shall find. This is my territory! This is a territory of evil. You are not. Igorobe! 
school bear or whatever you are called. Shut up and leave this place at once. Stay away, daughter of Agoha, or you'll be burned by fire. You don't know it's beginning. Stay away. Iguru bear, you are stepping on my patience. Announce me at once. And I shall never announce evil. Then, be prepared, for I must be announced. No one stands in the way of an angry lion. Attack! You are the last person I intend to see right now. You heard her. Give way. Now. Now. Audible. The same born in desire inside the one who sent you is on the verge of destroying the foundation. I live each day hoping to see Anyakali go under intense torture and hell. <laughs> I have told you I am on a mission. Yes. yes. A mission that you need me. Get out of my way. You will. There is a difference between bottled desire and bottled animosity. You don't know what you should do and how to free yourself. I can help you. Mogeku! I do not need your help. Whatever help it is you think you can render, I do not need it. Don't bullshit. Don't. My brother, honestly, it was really disturbing. I couldn't let it lie. Oh, truly, my brother, I cannot make out the circumstances surrounding the Nubi, our daughter. I cannot. Do you know that the Nubi has never slept in my heart since she brought Dikemba to his knees? No, you are not speaking the truth. I... How can I lie to my one and only brother? I am speaking the truth. You know, my brother, I have this strong feeling that the Nobi is the awaited one. But I wonder why Igurube is finding it so hard to announce her. Normally, the awaited one comes to end a lineage. You and I are the only surviving males of this family. Yes. If we pass on today, she dwells alone. I totally agree with you. Now, come to think of it. My wife died on the night of her birth. True. Yours joined exactly 10 and 12 seasons later. Mm. If you observe closely, you now discover that uh, the Nobi looks 10 seasons older than her age. There is sense in what you're saying. But whatever this is, time alone will tell. That's my belief. That is my only belief. Hmm. 
Hmm, I know if I'm here, man, I'm not. No, no, I want a pocha, cause the Lord, I need the patalogia, I will be the watcher, the rapper, the beat. Huh? If I'm here, man, I'm not. If I'm here, man, I'm here. Man, I'm not much. Man, I'm not daily. Prayer to the gods is something older than all of us. We met our fathers doing it, and we joined. Generations after us will surely continue from where we stopped. In essence, we want you to stop the prayers and give us the desired attention. For something bigger than our Kaliuchi is here now. Who is beating this deadly drum for you that you step your feet into the ancient shrine of Akaliochi to speak such insult. Oh, I can see you are the ones that. The little bird that decided to challenge her creator in a wrestling bout after overfeeding. Speak no further nonsense, Igurube, for you have reached your end. Let me advise you. Live here now with your apostles. Since you do not want to do it willingly, you shall do it forcefully. In your wildest dream, do you ever think you can force me to do anything? Lahim Laha! Lahim Laha! Lahim Laha! It has already been. spiritually how do you step your cursed fate into this ancient shrine <sighs> understand what we meant by something bigger than a Kaliuche is already here. very easy for me. This is the first time you are visiting my palace at night. And you have arrived here with Dimnobi and her maidens who dress in very strange attire. Demanding that I bring some elders with me. This me wondering all is well. Where is Izumba, your brother? Zumba traveled to our new. He'll be back tomorrow morning. But why do you ask after him? Is his visit all about Izumba, my brother? I would have loved to make this announcement in his presence. But in his absence, I shall proceed. Do help me to inform him when he returns. For so long we have waited for the promised one by the gods. The one who will protect Anakali from the age of 
terror and darkness. The one that will ensure that never ever will Sosa rule this land again. That awaited is here and now. In my capacity as the custodian of the shrine of the ancient Akaliji, I announce and present before you, Iwe, and the elders, the awaited. She is the one. Her word is law. Everybody must listen to her and follow her lead. She is to guide Ayaka. manipulation worked. He couldn't stand the lies. He couldn't continue his resistance. He ended himself to save his face. You must rise and take over. For no man born by woman shall ever harm you. As long as my hold is on you. I am ready. Ready for anything. Now that you have the spiritual leadership Go and take over the kingdom. Take over the throne. The throne? Yes, the throne. But that has always been the target. But two people stand between you and the throne. You must State their names, and their blood shall be my wine. Obiako and Isumba, his brother. The king and my father? Kill the sentiments, my child. Yakali must pay. It will pay dearly. Like him. Ah, the
DJ Izumba, my father and my everything. The one with royal blood flowing in his veins. Come out and grace the presence of the boiling one. My daughter, be awaited. To what do I owe this special visit? This is the heart of my death. Remember? You're right. You're right. The place I lived and grew in. In those days I have since gone back. You have now assumed the new form. What is going on? Don't you! Ah! Don't. The Nobi! He weighed him Nobi. My heart is filled with anger. Number rise from all ends of the universe as of the strength of death as of the weakness of an overfed python king of the arco You lied when you said a woman cannot touch the sword of authority of a Niakale. Why would you lie to someone like me? I never lied to you. A woman can never touch the sword. Shut up! The same sword I have already seized. You did what? How dare you touch the sword? No, 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 no! You were, 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 you
Like a man being chased by a fleet of bees. Zigam, if you receive a slap from a man who is fighting with you, it means the person has set a room for a fight. But if the person slaps you twice in quick succession, it means the person came to kill you. But I don't see any mark on your face. Are you sure you are not hallucinating? Or were you the one who slapped somebody? <laughs> hey! Could that be what I think? Something greater than a hawk has taken a ship on a flight. First, it was Jidenna. Second, Idrube. And now, just this morning, the Okoji of Aniakele had just fallen. He had fallen with the last of its kind. Matthew. Can you speak in clear terms? The king, Ubiako, has joined his ancestors. Hey! As I'm talking to you now, he died with his only brother. Hey! Hey! Mutu! Mutu! Uh -uh. Hey! 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 A masquerade don't dance forever. No matter how deadly a masquerade is, time would come for it to fail. <laughs> One orgy must fall for another to reign. It is her time. My time. Our time. Things may want to stop. But nothing can stop. Because nothing can stop a man whose God is made. 
We are convinced that we are under attack. Your father is Zumba. And his brother is the Ogyato. We are more than last night. The most painful aspect of it all is that the palace guards couldn't explain what happened. And we have been busy all day visiting all the diviners in Anyakali. Yes. Trying to ascertain where the problem is coming from concerning the royal house. Yes. But well, they gave no clue. Instead, they said uh, all the dead were covered in mystery. Yes. That was what they said. We remembered the long awaited that was announced. You see, it took us time to make a decision to be here. Because as the only child of the royal family, you are the chief mourner. And of course, enough I'm of the explanation. For I am no longer a child. By virtue of my call, as they are waited, I am half human, half spirit. The diviners were unable to speak, for the deaths have a link with the sword of authority. The sword of authority. We are confused. Are you saying that they were killed by the sword of authority? I am sad that I am the one handling this ministration. For the people we talk about are my father and my uncle. But then again, we cannot question the gods. They died in a strange way. They shall also go in a strange way. Why is one? What strange way are you talking about? First thing tomorrow morning, their bodies shall be set ablaze. Yes, oh. that is how they shall go. Failure to do so, and all men in Aniakali shall end in the same strange way. Are you serious about the instruction you just gave the elders? Would you allow them to do it? We just want to know, will you let them set the remains of your father in your uncle and niece? Do you have a problem with that? Why do you cry more than the bereaved? It's just that it has never happened in Aniakali before. Yes. It's, it's a norm to bury our dead here. Listen, maiden. You are my army, my army, and you do whatever I do. Kill the sentiments, for we are on a mission. Anyakale must be. My order stands. Their bodies will be set ablaze to further help to humble the elders in the land. The message was well delivered. I expect it wasn't well received. As you expected. But we shouldn't be concerned about that for now. You must ascend the throne. Then, prepare. You. All of you. Be weary how you involve yourself in matters beyond your understanding. Greetings. The movie. I am not here for pleasantries, Anadu. How has the message from the gods been taken by you and the others? Mm, just that it was a confusing one. The message was very clear enough. Very clear? But it was not clear to us. Anyone who plans to stand in the way of the gods does that at his own peril. My father and my uncle are clear examples. I am here on a great mission, a mission to take charge and straighten things in Aniakali. Events leading to this moment are clear indication of the presence of the hands of they who have sent me. And anyone who tries to foil their plan must be ready to dance. No, uh, um, 
the wise one. No one intends to stand on the way of what the gods have planned. No, no. We had actually wanted to see you and to hear from you directly before any action. Tell anyone who has intentions to do otherwise that the dance of the gods is a very rigorous one. <laughs> Uh, Enete, mm -hmm. that is the situation on ground. Anado, mm -hmm. if actually she is implying that we should hand over the throne to her, then she needs to have everything. A woman has never ruled the land of Anyakale. Uh, uh, Enete, she's not just a woman. She's the woman promised to us by the gods. The awaited one. <laughs> the gods are too wise to make such a mistake. Enete, hmm? mind your words. The rage of the gods is like a burning inferno. It burns without mercy. That is for those who have offended the gods. Do not offend the gods with your tongue. I think I have more serious things to do about not to rubbish. Rubbish! It has never happened. Not in this land. How can a woman rule this community for what? It has never let it happen anywhere else. But not this kingdom. Not this community. No! No! Huh? What is it? I am Enete. Why are you standing in my way? Huh? Hey! Hey! Don't, Don't you dare make a move. move. Huh? Hey! Brought this huh? upon yourself. May the gods consume you with fire. Summoned me. I am here now. What is it about? Uh, the chair, Enete, the prominent man of this kingdom, died in a mysterious way. Oh. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Ichi Anadu, did you call me here to discuss the death of Ichi Enete? Uh, uh, wise one, uh, please don't be mad at us. After his death, we made an inquiry and we were told that his death has to do with our delay in crowning you. And so we invite you here to wear you the crown. Because we do not want the anger of the gods to fall on us. With the power vested on me as the king maker of Aniakade, I crown you today as the queen. I shall be addressed as king. I crown you as King Dimnobi of Aniakade. The king must have something to tell her people. 
Yes. Before I speak, my chief guard speaks first. Oh. Oh. Silence! The era of sluggishness has come to an end. Sons and daughters of Anyakali must be up and doing. <coughs> Loyalty and respect must be your new religion. This is all you have to know for now. Others, you shall know in due course. My father called me Iwe Dibnobi. But all of you chose to pick the path that suits you. I shall also pick up the path that suits me. I raise the sword of authority against anyone who dares call me Dimnobi. Henceforth, I shall be addressed as King Iwe, the Lord of Anyakali. I have spoken. And as for this, I have no need for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait! Oh, yeah. Silence! With or without this thing, I remain the king. King Iwe. Iwe. Your Majesty, I was not around that night. I was attending to my sick mother. Shut up! What would you have done if you were around? What? All of you are incompetent. Your inability to protect King Obiako shows just how useless you three are to the entire palace. Henceforth, you cease to be the god. What? You will be my god. Majesty, your majesty, your majesty. Since it is my first day as king, I do not intend to be brutal, except you want to experience my brutality. So nicely take yourselves to the dungeon and lock yourselves up. Quick! How can you say that? How dare you? How dare you? Don't you dare! You have got. I see you have some strength. Now you fight me! Fight me! Fight me! I'm not a 
what am I doing here? What do you want from me? You showed me you have strength. You showed me the traits that I need in men. You appear to me like one who has the stamina that can last all through the night. I need you. I need what you can release to massage my strength. And hey, do not even try anything funny because if you do, you are dead. My name is Iju. I have lived in this palace since I was a child, serving the king. My name is Adana. I shared the same experience with Iju. And they are hoping that now we have a female as our new king, that our job will be sweet and easy. Do you know why King Iwe has refused to wear the crown like all the different kings around here? That is because she is a different king on a different mission. In other words, I am here to inform you that there is a new order in the palace and your services are no longer needed. Yes, both of you go in, pack your miserable belongings and leave the palace. Greetings. To the inhabitants of the royal household. No, leave my presence this minute. Get out! And you, it's obvious you have lost your memory. Or have you forgotten that your presence is not needed in this palace? What are you doing here? Why do I have to talk to the cart when I'm here to see the tiger? Mm. My words are not with you. I'm here to see the king. Now get out of my sight before I turn you into something more disgusting than you. Oh, you sh <laughs> <laughs> the cobra might be the king of the world, but that does not make it better. <laughs> Do not step on the bike. Enough of that. <laughs> you should bow before your king. Oh, greetings, my queen. King, I said. No king needs the use of his two hands to urinate. Well, I am still the king. Without a manhood. Let me tell you something you don't understand. A large year does not make a king. The authority be the authority to the throne. But it's only the power behind an authority that makes its subject to respect that authority. Mogeku, stay away from me. And that power comes from the strength of a man. A real man. And a man's manhood is the he that is in him, which makes him the he that is in him. You can see that a symbol of authority is not just. I rule now. And I shall not stand in the way of wizards. My role is to bring pain and darkness to Aniakali for the sins of their past. Stick to your path and I shall not bother you. Iwe, we both have the same plan at hand. But every king needs a queen. Or should I say, make me. Get out of here now. My king, it would only take a while, then our marriage will show you your sources. Patience, my king. Out! Patience. 
It is time for them to feel the brunt of my anger. <laughs> what the eyes of the eagles can see from the sky would blind the chicken when it comes close. <laughs> When a bird decides to patch on the rope, he must be ready to dance with the rope. Because those who are evil, they parade with the blood edge of supernatural powers. Little boy, how are you? Come. Come. Don't be afraid. Come. You like food? Come take. Come. I know you like fruit. Nice. Nice. 